Alright, welcome back. In this video, we're actually going to draw the shear and moment diagram, but before I do that, uh, we need to figure out a couple more reactions here at A and C. Let's do C first uh, really quick. Um, so at C, we have um, this moment, this 230.58 uh, moment going this way. That means at C, that same moment is going to go this way. And here at the reaction, if that moment's going that way, that means um, the reaction moment at C is going to go this way. And this is equal to 230.58. Um, same thing at A. We have this 18.42 moment going clockwise. That means at A it's going to be equal and opposite. And that's going to go counterclockwise. So that means the reaction moment at A um, is going clockwise. And that's 18.42. So then we have these three reactions. Uh, we should be ready to draw our shear and moment diagram. So for our shear and moment diagram, let me let me actually redraw this this structure. It's it's this structure here. Uh, we have oops we have this oh my pen's not cooperating uh, we have these fixed ends here um, we have this reaction or this roller B uh, we have A over here we have C over here um, we also have this 24 kilonewton load here and then we have this a distributed load um, right here. Um, this is 12 kilonewtons per meter. And remember our reaction at A uh, was actually negative 2.52, right? This was uh, this is actually going down. Uh, we have reaction here at B 103.12 and we have reaction here at C uh, 91.41 we have a reaction moment of 230.58 uh, we have a reaction moment here at A of I'm sorry this is actually going the other way 18.4 um, right so for our shear diagram for our shear diagram we have here's our beam. Actually, let me. You know what? I should also uh, write the the lengths. I think that would be helpful. This is 10 meters, and this is 14 meters, right? So for our shear diagram in kilonewtons, we have uh, this negative 2.52. So it's negative uh, 2.52, um, and it it stays the same until uh, mid span here. So and it goes down 24 so it goes down here to 26.52 um, right and it stays the same until it gets to B then you have this reaction of 103 um, it gets pushed up to that should that should really be a straight line um, 103.12 I'm sorry uh, negative 26.52 plus the 103.12 should give us 76.12 um, and then we have this distributed load um, so the 76.12 minus the 12 times uh, 14 should give us uh, negative 91.41 um, I'm just gonna draw it with a straight line tool straight line tool where are you right here right and then it goes back up to zero because of uh, this reaction right here this 91.41 right so for our moment diagram for our moment diagram draw this straight line here this is our moment diagram um, I'll do that in blue initially you have if this thing scrolls up, 
uh, you have this 18.4. Um, so the internal moment here at A is going to be 18. Point, oh my goodness, that's a straight line tool. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, counterclockwise 18.4. And this, remember our sign convention, that's a positive moment. So it, it actually starts here at 18.4. Right, and our shear or and our moment at mid span um, between A and B or at five meters is going to be 5.8. Right, you just 18.4 minus this area right here. Um, so it starts here, goes down here, and then you subtract another area here. Uh, it should uh, bring us down here to. Let's see, negative 126.8, and it's straight line. And then here, at mid-span, um, this distance right here is 6.38 meters. Um, and you can just figure that out using geometry. I'm not going to go over that. But that means, um, since this is a positive shear and this is a negative shear, you know that the, uh, the moment diagram is going to curve up and then curve down, right? It's going to have a positive slope on the left side and a negative slope on the right side. Um, and if you calculate this, it's going to be 117.55. Um, and, and this is going to curve up. Um, and then you subtract this area. Um, at the very end, you should equal 230 or negative 230.68 it curves back down and then there's a, a moment here 230.58 that brings it back up um, to zero so there there's our shear and moment diagram um, so that this was the second example for the slope deflection method all right